my dear students so far we have discussed the basic concept of economics in our previous session now we are moving on to the second chapter this is basic economic problems students every economy of a country faces different problems many problems are there that economy is facing such as poverty inequality unemployment inflation etc so behind these problems there are some causes but apart from those causes some fundamental causes of there which we are going to discuss in the following way first cause is unlimited human one second limited resources and third cause that we can signify as that all the resources which are limited have alternative uses if i'm going to take the first problem that is unlimited human wants we can signify that yes human wants are unlimited even if one want has gone down the another one will come up so whatever the resources that we have to fulfill those unlimited wants are always scarce in nature they are scarce and all the resources as alternative uses due to which the problems of an economy arises now move on to the first problem that we are going to discuss that an economy is facing is poverty we all are familiar with the term poverty now how will you define poverty poverty is a situation where an individual is unable to procure the basic necessities of life such as food clothing shelter education and health services when an individual are not getting its basic necessities of life it is very difficult for that particular person or a group of person to live a their life this type of problem we term as poverty and in india many are facing this severe problem while discussing poverty there are two aspects first one absolute poverty and second is relative poverty what is absolute poverty absolute poverty is the case of extreme poorness when people can't fulfill their minimum basic needs minimum basic needs includes food clothing shelter education and basic health amenities the second aspect of poverty that we can term as relative poverty this relative poverty shows greater income inequalities among people in case of relative poverty people may fulfill their minimum basic needs but their income level is quite lower than the richer section that is yes in case of relative poverty people may procure their minimum basic needs that we have discussed such as food clothing etc but the income level it's lower than the minimum level compared to the richer section after the two aspect of poverty that is absolute poverty and relative poverty let's move on to one important term related to poverty that is poverty line what is poverty line poverty line is an imaginary line which divides a country's population into poor and non poor on the basis of their income level and calorie consumption as this way through the concept of poverty line we can define poverty by taking the income level and calorie consumption as the base according to planning commission of india presently niti ayog in rural areas if a person can't consume 2400 calories in a day is called poor again in case of urban area it is 2100 calories these amounts of calories you have to keep in mind this is known as calorie based definition of poverty in rural areas 2400 calories per day and in urban areas 2100 calories per day this is the calorie based definition next move on to the income part on the other hand by consumption level if a person can't consume rupees 368 per month in case of urban areas the minimum consumption limit is rupees 
0.58 per month. This data is according to 2005 and 6 prices. This is the concept of poverty line. This is how we can measure poverty through income level and calorie consumption in rural and urban areas.